Aloha everybody, I'm Cheryl Hamilton from createwithcheryl.me and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Maui, Hawaii. Um, I'm really excited to be a guest on Split Coast Stampers today and here's the project I have for you. It's a little kimono card. So you just take off the little obi or the belt and open it and there's a small section to have um, a little card. So stay tuned and I'll show you how, you how to make this. To make this cute kimono card, I'm starting with a piece of delightfully eclectic designer series paper and I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half. Now with, um, I'm pulling over my trimmer here that also has a score blade on the top. So um, I'm gonna, with the eight and a half inch along the top, I'm scoring it at two and an eighth, and then at six and three eighths. Let me see, right here. And just be careful when you're scoring. This is thinner than um, regular cardstock, so you don't want to press too hard with your score score blade. And then. Um, move this out of the way. I'm going to then fold both sides towards the middle. Okay, this is the part where you have to pay attention a little more, but you can do this. Bring your um, trimmer over again and you're gonna lay your card this way and you're gonna put it at the two inch mark, okay? So there it is at two inches. And then you're gonna find on your on this side, it has all the markings, like there's one inch. You're gonna lift it up, move your blade to three quarter inches, okay? And go set it down and cut, okay? So I've made a little cut just like that. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. So I put it at two inches and move my cutting blade to three quarter inch and cut it, okay? So now I'm gonna, my card is like this with two little cuts. I'm gonna fold the long piece in towards the middle so I'm just, before I, before I crease it really well, I'm just checking that the bottom is straight and everything. And I'm gonna use my bone folder and crease it. Then I'm gonna um, turn it over and crease it the other way. I'm doing the same thing to the other side. Just like that. And turning it over and creasing it that way. Okay. So next thing I want to do is open it up and I'm going to take this and push these towards the inside like that. And see how it, you're starting to see the sleeve of the kimono now. So push it towards the inside and just use your bone folder, get everything really good. Isn't that great? Okay, for the neckline, I just want to make a V neck. So I'm using a ruler just to help me. I'm placing it right under the sleeves and I just want to know how far down to go. So I'm probably making the V about a half an inch and um, doing it that way. And then the other side, same thing. Just get them as close as you can. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now for the obi or the belt, um, I've cut a contrasting piece of this designer series paper and it is six and a half inches long by one inch. So I'm just gonna wrap it around like this. Um, I'm wrapping it around the back. So go ahead and crease it. I'm using Stamp and seal. Yeah. 
and um, don't do it super tight because you want to be able to pull the belt up and down, but just line it up really well and press it down. Just like that. Okay, you're going to grab some ribbon. So I'm cutting about 10 inches, but I'm going to just guess right now. And first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna adhere it to the back so the ribbon is, is um, not sliding up and down all the time. So I'm just gonna run the stamp and seal again. Let's have to get it started. Um, run a strip along the back like that and then figure out where my middle is. Okay, so, and then just place it down like that. Turning it over and tying a square knot. Now I'm ready to make the little card for the inside. And I've cut a piece of basic white, six and a half inches by two and a half inches and scored it down the middle at three and one quarter. So I'll go ahead and fold it. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp it. First, I'm gonna use a sentiment. I love that we are friends from Country Bouquet. And I'm gonna do that in Garden Green. Um, here it is. And these photopolymer stamps, I like to use um, the stamp and pierce mat under everything when I stamp them. I think it just helps the ink absorb a little bit better. Okay, so there's that one. And then um, for the flowers, I'm using this set called Petal Park. And this is a fun set because it has a, a punch to go with it, you know, so you can punch out these flowers and do things with them. But for, for this card today, I'm just using these little teeny flowers and I really like this little fern or this these leaves here. Um, I am going to stamp the, it comes, it has, um, outlines these are kind of um that outline around the stamp around the flowers and then this fills it in and i've marked it so that i don't have to figure out every time how the fill in part goes so i've used a sharpie where the top is and then this um i've used it on this one so it should they should coincide um let me just do fresh freesia outlines and then um, this this one I'm doing in bubble bath try to line it up pretty well there it goes yeah that was good you could use a stamparatus if you have one but I think if you just take your time it's pretty easy to match these There you go. And um, where's my leaf? Here's this cute little leaf. I'm gonna stamp that in garden green. Obviously you could do anything you want on this card. Um, you know, make it into a birthday or thank you. And um, I'm sure everybody has some kind of flower stamps around. So that's my card. So I'm just gluing it onto the inside. And then you've got the um, inside where you could write your message. So 
so there's my card. Super cute, not too difficult. And um, let me finish off the envelope. Um, I, Whenever I'm doing this on envelopes, I cut my designer series paper at six inches by two and a quarter. And then just put some glue on the flap. Stick this on and right up to the line. And then you're gonna turn it over and cut it out. Isn't that pretty? And um, so there's your finished card. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try it out and make a kimono card for yourself. Have a great day and thanks again for watching. Aloha.